Well, the title says it all. I did indeed 3D print an electric violin, and boy was I surprised by the results. I've been wanting to make something like this since I first got my 3D printer, but was way too intimidated to give it a try. I mostly assumed that my print bed was too small and I wouldn't be able to figure out the electronics. But from my short time making these videos, I've learned that A. More things are possible than I imagined. B. You have to start from somewhere. And C. Unless you're doing something really dangerous, the worst that can happen is you end up with a beautiful mess. And I'm beginning to think that beautiful messes are my special sweet spot. And speaking of starting somewhere, although I really want to design my own custom violin, it felt like this was a good time to utilize the walk before I run tactic and just download someone else's files. One trip to good old Thingiverse unearthed loads of violin files, so I just picked whatever one I liked the best. This particular one is called the L Violin Version 2, or rather the El Violin, but close enough. I'll link it below for anyone interested. One thing I did like about this design is that there weren't a whole lot of, uh, fiddly little parts. It's basically a neck with space for pegs and electronics. For a beginner, this felt doable. The only real complication is that when you are provided with free design files, you don't always get an extensive amount of instructions to go along with those. So there's a bit of figuring stuff out, improvising, and a smidgen of me definitely getting stuff wrong. It's all part of the process. I also didn't want to delve into attempting to paint this thing, so I spent some time sanding it enough that the print lines weren't exceptionally noticeable while playing. It doesn't look the greatest, but I was definitely aiming at a more utilitarian sort of experience with this build. For the electronics, I wanted to spend the least amount of money possible, so I picked up a $20 piezo pickup system from everyone's favorite retailer. Considering good pickups tend to cost several hundred dollars, I wasn't expecting much, but shockingly, it turns out it's actually playable. The battery box turned out to be a little bit deeper in size than whatever the original designer used, so I just printed a small extension and glued that right on. Dimension-wise, though, everything else fit just perfectly. Finally, the only thing that really doesn't work for me on this violin is the shoulder rest. I'm at least 90% sure I did something wrong, but for the life of me, I couldn't get the screws tightened enough to keep it from flopping around. It's super uncomfortable, doesn't stay in place, and overall, it's the main thing that makes this violin hard to play, other than my fledgling bridge-shaping skills. Guys, look at this. <laughs> uh, I put this thing together. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to take a, we're just going to do a quick test of this and see uh, the playability of this because, I mean, it's a big hunk of plastic that's been glued together. <laughs> um, also because of that, I realize I'm going to look really stupid here, but I'm a little concerned that maybe this isn't structurally sound enough or something. I'm going to get a big string like snapping off of my face. So I'm literally going to put on goggles. Um, listen, I get it. It's probably unnecessary, but I like my eyeballs. So now we're futuristic. <laughs> All right. So also word of warning. I didn't say I didn't promise anyone good violin playing here, by the way. It's been a very long time since I've actively practiced, like, decades. So, you know, cut me some flack here. Um, volume, volume. We're checking things. Okay. 
Here we go. Huh. <laughs> I mean... Oh, wow. Let's try that again. Um, I actually might take this uh, little belt off because I'm not sure I need it there. I mean, I'm not sure why I'd, uh, I know it's supposed to be a, a placeholder, but I'm not entirely sure why I'd, uh, I want to make it harder to get up to the higher <laughs> registers. Um, holy crap, guys. Am I doing the wrong one? Yeah, so here's the thing. Uh, I uh, just kind of eyeballed the bridge and kind of shaped it, and I had a template that didn't work, and I had to reshape it. Um, so uh, I think there's an art to shaping bridges that I haven't figured out yet. But you know, I'm in I'm in the ballpark. But it doesn't make it harder to like find the right string. <laughs> um, goodness, what else? Oh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna try something. <laughs> I haven't played this in 30 years, uh, so let's, yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious for my own. Yeah, not winning any competitions with that. Uh, I mean, come on. This thing, I mean, it plays. I, I'm a little, I'm gonna risk my eyeballs here. I don't know, but I'm kind of, kind of shocked that this actually works. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm coming back in just a second with some other crazy music that I've attempted with this. So, be right back.
Well, there you have it. One electric violin, one ridiculously overproduced music video, and one reminder that it's a terrible idea to green screen dozens and dozens of files. Seriously, why, why do I do this to myself? And if you made it this far, thanks for hanging in there. Sorry about the assault of the eyes there. Also, the assault to your ears. Also, I might as well preemptively apologize for being a Californian. And, of course, vegan. And middle-aged. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose my constitutional right to that any day now. And, if I'm being honest, I really do prefer cats over dogs. Although, I guess I also need to apologize to my neighbors about my cat's nighttime meowing. Look, I've tried everything at this point.